Hi! So today we're going to be reading uh, part of our Animals 2x2 two two book. So we're going to be talking all about fish today. So, fish are the same and different. Goldfish and guppies are fish. Where do you find them? Hmm. Do you find them in a tree? Do you find them in some brie? It's a kind of cheese and it rhymes. No, we don't find them in a thing of cheese or in a tree. They live in ponds and lakes. Other fish live in the ocean. Where else do we find fish? Where do they live? Hmm. Fish are animals. All animals have basic needs. Fish need food and water. They need space and shelter. They need oxygen too. Oxygen. Hmm. I'm wondering what that helps them with. Do you think that helps them breathe? Just like we breathe? I wonder. Fish have eyes and a mouth on their heads. They have scales, fins, and gills. Do you see them? see some eyes and I see their scales and I see their gills those little slits by their kind of their eyes and their fish and then their their eyes and their face all fish breathe through gills fish breathe oxygen from the water do you ever see those little bubbles in the water a lot of times that that's oxygen and that's what's helping them breathe Color, shape, and size are characteristics of fish. Colors, shape, and size. So I noticed that some of these fish are different colors. I noticed some of them are different shapes. And I noticed some of them are different sizes. So those are all characteristics, meaning like ways we can describe them. How are these fish the same? What would you say? How are they all the same? Well, I would say... They're all fish, they all have tails, they're all alive. Can you think of some ways that these fish are all the same? And then I want you to try to think about how they're different. How are those fish different? They're different, some of them are big and some of them are small. Some of them are spotted and some of them are all the same color. Some of them are striped and some of them are spotted. Some of them are the different colors. Some of them are different shapes, awfully different, but also a lot that are the same in many ways, right? Fish live in many places. Fish need to live in water. Some fish live in fresh water. Rivers and streams are fresh water. Ponds and lakes are fresh water. Do you see fish here? I see the fish underneath the water in the lake. Raise your hand if you have ever seen a fish in a lake or a pond or a stream. That's all fresh water. Other fish live in salt water. The ocean is salt water. Many different kinds of fish live in the ocean. How about, has anyone seen fish in salt water? I'm going to connect with that. I have. Some marshes are salt water. Fish that live in the salt marshes need salt water to live. So maybe if you're going to the beach and you've driven by an area right before the beach that looks like this, that's called a marshland, and that's salty water, and there are some fish that live there. Aquariums are places to see fish. At an aquarium, fish live in large glass indoor tanks. These fish live in a salt water tank. Pet stores are places to see fish in small tanks. Have you seen these fish? And we had a little tour of some fish that lived in tanks with some of our kindergarten friends, right? Your class, oh, we don't have that. Let's see, what's next? Fish live in many places. Some fish live in natural places. Other fish live in human-made places. And so, like we were talking about, some of our friends in kindergarten have fish in a fish tank. 
And like some of us have fish in ponds at our houses. So I have a house and we have goldfish just like that in our pond out back. Some fish eat plants. Some fish eat animals. Some fish eat both plants and animals. Fish get what they need from where they live. Hmm, so what are the basic needs of a fish? What does a fish need to live? Hmm, can you think of anything? We know a fish needs to eat things. And we know that it needs to live somewhere and be safe and have a shelter. And we know that it needs water. And we know that it needs oxygen to breathe, right? Those are all things the fish needs to stay alive. So that's everything about fish today. I hope you enjoyed it. So I will see you soon.